Thank you, Mr. Chair. And first, I just want to say that um, our hallway is very empty lonely. Now, it's it? yes, it's, it's empty, empty, and there's no Christmas I'm, decorations. I'm a, big per I'm a small guy, but a big person. That's right. <laughs> but I just wanted to just let you know that we tried our best, and and we miss your display. I'll come, I'll come back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, um, you know, with that, I just wanted to um, just mention a little bit, just Mr. Bishop had mentioned talking about the, the cost of, of expanding government and, um, and the duplicativeness of some of this. And, and that is my concern. I mean, obviously, support the intent of it. But, um, you know, as we continue to add more and more programs without going back and looking at them, it's one of the things that I've dealt with, you know, a lot during my career in, in, in um, public service that we have to go back and look at those programs so that we can either, um, you know, expand them if they're working or contract them if they're not. But we, we have an obligation to the taxpayer to look at these things. And so I appreciate your comments on the duplicativeness. And um, if you have anything else, Mr. Bishop, you wanted to add. Thank you, Ms. Fishbach. You and I both spent time in the state legislature and, and uh, and that certainly was something that we spent a great deal of time doing in the North Carolina legislature was uh, going back and cutting out the underbrush, if you will, things that had piled up over time. And, I, and to the point Ms. Jackson Lee articulated that this is to be a, to create sort of something different, uh, to be a one-stop uh, sort of service for those who are transitioning or transferring back into society. And, and, and again, that language that I read from uh, the hearing about the the uh, the grants under the uh, uh, under the Second Chance Act. They said this, it was talking about a grant to a center that calls itself a community-based correctional program that has been designed to provide services for its participants at one location. It was, you know, it seemed to be accomplishing almost precisely the same purpose. So, uh, how how you how Congress can make something if it hasn't happened adequately, if it hasn't served Tarrant County, uh, Texas, served Pennsylvania apparently, but if it's not being done evenly or comprehensively or fulsomely enough, I'm not sure we accomplished the result by telling the bureaucracy again to do the same thing. Thank you. And with that, I yield back, Mr. Chair. Thank you.